In this quick video tutorial, I'm just going to go through the three modes when using stencils. So I'm going to go ahead and add in um, a simple circle stencil. It's a nice example. And I'll just choose a color here. Okay, so stencils by default uh, show up in red. And if you right click on it, you'll see the three modes here, stencil mode, ruler mode, and guide mode. So stencil mode is pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you um, when you draw and paint, any part that is red is basically not going to allow you to paint in that particular area. So if I go ahead and go around like this, I'm going to right mouse click and move my stencil, you'll see that it's uh, basically not allowed me to paint inside there. Um, you can go ahead and duplicate and you can combine. So for instance, if I add another circle and I overlap, you'll see I can go around really quickly. And you'll see that you can make compound shapes, so that's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and remove that stencil. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change this by right-clicking on it, and I'm going to choose Ruler Mode. And Ruler Mode is really cool. Ruler Mode um, lets you kind of stick to the, um, to the object, to the uh, edge of the object, um, and make some very precise shapes. And so as I'm drawing around, if I watch very closely, it'll allow me to stick right to it, and I can get some very precise uh, shapes, and you can see... Uh, what it did there, and I have a really, really, really clean um, shape like that. Let me go ahead and clear my layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and invert the stencil. So now I've got the exact opposite. I'm staying in ruler mode, and again, I'm just drawing slower than usual. And you can see, if I do this, I'll get a really nice, precise circle. Now if I move a little bit slower, I won't get this bumpiness and unevenness that I've been getting uh, over there. So just take your time, um, and there you go. Um, I'm going to now go to Guide Mode. And what Guide Mode lets you do is Guide Mode lets you get a little bit of the best of both worlds. It's kind of like Ruler Mode in that it lets you snap and um, hug the edge or hug the line. Uh, but you'll notice that it actually lets you go um, beyond the line and lets you go into um, the shape. So I don't use it personally very often, but it can be very handy um, if you want to get a little bit of a thicker line or a thicker brush stroke, and you can see it there. Um, again, I'll demonstrate if I invert the stencil. Oops. If I invert the stencil, so now um, I can go ahead, and as long as I'm moving fairly slowly, it will sort of have a little adherence or snap to the to the edge to the perimeter um, and there we go but it allows me to go um, inside and out um, again I personally um, don't use it very often I, I usually use um, stencil mode or ruler mode um, to kind of guide where the paint is going to go um, they just seem to give me better uh, better results so I hope that helps you out and I will see you in the next video